Hi everybody, David Dilling from MarkSquare here. Today we're going to show you how to import and place a multi-page PDF in Adobe InDesign. Alright, let's cruise on over on the computer here and check it out. Alright, so here we are. It's our web page. We're going to cruise on into InDesign here. And of course, we'll make a new, uh, we'll make a new letter form just because most PDFs are in letter or A4. And of course, you know, you can place a PDF. It's just like an image. You just put your thing there so you can make it like that size whatever size you want and you can just do a command D or file place and you can choose uh, a PDF like this one right here the problem is it only puts in one page the first page in this in this case and you can get other options to choose the page but it's only a static image and of course um, you know you want to have the fitting better. So there you go. So we can only get one page and that's PDF. So how do you do multi-page? We'll delete this. We'll go up here to Window Tools, sorry, Window uh, Utilities, and then we'll choose Scripts, which I already have opened over here. And when you get into Scripts, you're going to be, you're going to see this is going to be like that and like that. And you're going to want to go into Samples. Seems a little strange, like Samples seems a little bit like, you know, not really the real thing, but it is. So then you go into Apple Scripts, and then you just choose here. We'll move this a little bit out of the way. We're just going to choose here. It's a little tough for someone just a little bit dyslexic like myself, but you got to look through all these place multi-page PDF. I have a high already haven't selected. So now you just want to. You just you don't have to select it. You have to actually double click it, and we get our file open window. I can choose the PDF again, and I can choose that one. And I can insert it starting on page one, click OK, and off it goes. This takes a little bit of time, so I'll take a sip of coffee here. Actually, keep this time in mind for what we're going to show you in a moment, because we're going to show you some other options to this whole process, which are a lot handier. All right, there we go. You first see the last page is imported. This is the end of the document. You see over here page 64 of, of many pages, which you can see right over here. And uh, now we have PDF, but the problem is I can't go in and double click. I can only move it within the frame. I can move the frame. I can delete it, but I can't edit text. I can't edit images. I can't see the specifications of any of these images. I can select over here and see the pages page 64 here I can see some some basics about the file but I get the entire document it's not just that page of the information I'm getting here so it's a little bit tricky right now a little trick I'm going to show you if you right click on the page link there you can go edit with and you could then edit with and we're going to show you in a moment PDF marks but we're not going to spoil the fun yet on that we're going to open it in flight check now, what FlightCheck does, because like I said, it's now referencing the entire placed PDF, not just one individual page, which normally in the links panel you'd get just that image right there. Now, what's nice about the FlightCheck approach, which is like a bonus tip, is that you get a preview of the file, and we can cruise all the way down to page 64, and we can see the page we're just at, and we get all the information on our, on our document. And we can even click um, show us the pre-flight score and we can get an idea that, well, this PDF probably has some problems, right? And we can see right here, you know, color, resol color resolution out of range. And if we, we click on one, we can see where it is. Oh, there it is. That you know, Look at that. It's a little bit out of range. So I can actually go in and edit this in Acrobat, which is one or two might not be a problem and use Pit Stop and Acrobat or whatever it might be. But what I want to actually do, for that we'll get out of FlightCheck. That's a little side tip FlightCheck to help check your files and help you edit them, you know, if you want to do things in Acrobat or what have you. But what I could also do is just right click that and say edit with right in InDesign and choose PDF Marks, which I've downloaded from MarksWare.com where we started the entire video. There, 
PDF marks will also give you a preview of the PDF and some basic file information, nothing like you just saw on flight check. But what's most amazing about PDF marks is we're going to allow you to edit the PDF. And we'll scroll down to uh, the last page again. We can do it like that. We'll go to 64 again. What's cool about um, this product is we'll actually allow you to open this PDF, the native PDF, right up in Adobe InDesign. Just click right there, open InDesign. You guys do export and do a lot of different things and extract stylized text and extract only the images at resolution used, etc. But we can also just convert this entire file. Now we see it opening up in the background. And if we click on InDesign, we're now in here. Hey, it looks like just looks like the same thing we just placed. Look at that. It looks just the same. Now there are some variations. Some touching up is sometimes needed with PDF files. So if we're in the place PDF, if we were in the converted PDF, and because we can now convert the PDF, there's some things we need to touch up here. So we need to uh, make this a bit, uh, need to stretch out the image a bit at you know, the right proportion. And then we'll get more like it was in the beginning. But what's not really cool about this, uh, we can go to like, page. Um, what's really cool about this now, we can actually double click on the text and look at that. It's actually editable live text. And look at this. We get, we get layers. We, we get, we get all the layers are, are uh, honored. It's not flattened like an image. We get um, the ability to move our stuff around to reposition the layout as needed, we can go in, we can adjust styles and colors. It's just a new layout right here. This table of contents was just a test. And it's just amazing because now you can go in there and actually edit hyperlinks, uh, swap out um, you know, the images that are too low resolution and put in the proper ones, whatever you need to do. Maybe you need to do an entirely new layout. That's the beauty with PDF marks. We let you edit PDFs the way you need to in InDesign. We convert. PDF to InDesign, not just place an InDesign and PDF. So that's the two options to how you can place a PDF in Adobe InDesign. One, with the script in InDesign, which you just get a static PDF page per page from the same source PDF, and it's just like a static image. Matter of fact, worse than that, it's just like all part of that same big PDF. It's not even split into individual images. Now, what is well, uh, what is neat with the second method we showed, the PDF marks method, that actually converts the PDF into an entirely new Adobe InDesign file for you to go in and edit and change and manipulate as you do as professional graphic designers. So PDF marks is a professional tool for graphic designers. Cruising over to marksware.com today under products, just choose PDF marks, and there you get all the information on this wonderful standalone application to convert your PDFs with a click right in to Adobe InDesign. And while you're there, don't forget to check out our reviews. Check out some of these reviews. Recent one, July 4th, just fantastic product. I can transform PDFs for my clients to InDesign and thus save me hours on a layout. Worth every penny, four stars out of five. Just at a French manuscript, four stars out of five. It does a fairly decent job of running PDFs files. It can be converted. Sure beats having to rebuild a file. And like, once again, every PDF will have different levels of uh, editing or not needed to get it back into original shape. I mean, come on, man. Any PDF? Really? Any layout software? What? Okay, I'll try it. Wow, wow, we. That's right. PDF marks will take a Canva PDF, a design PDF, an Illustrator PDF, a Corel Draw PDF, a Word PDF, and convert them right into Adobe InDesign with a click with live text, everything. The process went from eight hours to seconds with PDF marks. Well, that's pretty clear. And it goes on and on and on. Great time saver, always viable, absolutely necessary for a workflow. I like that one, absolutely necessary for a workflow. Amazing. So cruise over to Markster.com, check out PDF Marks today. David Dilling from Markster, wishing you a fantastic day. Take care. Get approved. Get content. Be creative. Markswear.com.